Hello again, welcome to today's attempt at a spottle puzzle. This is Wordle, but there are some obstructions in the grid. That's what those black cells are. That makes it much harder because we won't get any information about the letters that we put in those positions. So I'm going to start with a side because I like to get as much information about the vowels as I can to start with. And this also lets me try the S, which is usually a useful letter, but not today. Today we've only got the I. Of course, we might have the O or the U as well. But you can see what I meant about the obstructions. That D might be in the word, it might not be. We just do not know. So, I'm not on hard mode. I don't have to use the I, and I'm not going to. I want to find out about the O and the R. I'm hoping that those will be more useful to me. And they are. Wow, I wasn't expecting both of them. So what's a word that's got an O, an I, and an R in? It can't be quiet, because the R can't be last. So I think it's quite restricted. It could be something like groin or broil. Definitely an ROI um, sequence in the middle makes sense. Let's go for groin. It's not the nicest of words, but it will let me try the G and the N, and I'll also find out if the I is indeed fourth. If the I is fourth, it makes it much more likely that it's an ROI sequence, I think. Okay, but not only do we not have a G or an N, but the I is not even second. So it's also not intro, it could have been intro. That's another reason why I went for the N. So, I don't think it's going to be an OI sequence anymore, because the only, the only positions that could have an OI sequence are the last two letters, so clearly that's very unlikely. And I also don't think it's going to start with the I or end with the I just because they're not really the most common positions for an I to go in. So it's probably second. It's also not nitro, as well as not being intro. Could be an RO ending, but that just feels very unlikely. At least we know it's not an OR ending, so it's not going to be one of these American spellings like Vigor. But that really still does not help me work out what it actually is. I am thinking, oh, it's also not irony. I was almost about to interrupt myself and say it could be irony. So, it still feels like the I, if the I is second, then it feels like the O is going to be fourth. So then would the R be first or third? Blank I R O blank. What could that be? I do not know. And what about R-I blank O blank? Not sure I know what that could be either. This might be a situation where there's actually only one possible answer left at this point. But the question is, do I spend ages trying to work out what it is? Or do I just go for something that's going to narrow down the options by getting rid of some other letters which should help me? I don't even know what's a sensible guess, that's the thing, because I can't see anything that works. If it starts with the I, is that likely? Probably not. Ah, micro. Micro is definitely a possibility. Let's go for that, because even if it's wrong, it will tell me whether I've got the I, R, O in the right places. And of course, it may well not be wrong. Very relieved and happy to have worked that out. And only four guesses as well. You can see that's one of my better performances. There were two options left at that stage. I wonder if it will tell me what the other one was. Um, I played outer, the bot would have played tacky. I played groin, the bot would have played bavin. Well, that would never have occurred to me. Uh, ivory looks like it would have been the only possible other answer. So. Either way, I would have got a green R. Um, if it was ivory, after I went for micro, the I and the O would both have been yellow. That would have meant almost certainly the I was first and the O was third. So I think I'd have got ivory pretty quickly after that. But we'll never know because micro was correct. But it was going to be a four or a five either way, which is definitely one of my better performances. Pretty happy with that. Let me know how you got on. That's the Spottle Puzzle. Thank you for watching and bye for now.